Hey guys, welcome back to Watch Takes episode 3 on Watches with Oliver. I'm glad to have you here. For today's video, we are going to do a review on one of my watches and how it works in 2023. It's going to be the Caravelle Sea Hunter 666. But before we get started, please go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. Any feedback you have is invaluable to me and it helps me create better videos in the future. Let's do a wrist check here real quick. I've got my Omega Seamaster Electronic F300 from 1970 right here. It features the tuning fork movement, the Omega 1250, which is based off of the ESA 9162. We'll definitely go more in depth with tuning fork movements and this particular watch in my future videos of watch takes. So the Caravelle Sea Hunter. So let's go ahead and give you a brief history on the Caravelle Sea Hunter. The Caravelle Sea Hunter started in production from 1969 to around 1971 or 72. Most of the examples I've seen come from 1969 and 1970. 71 and maybe 72 are pretty scarce. But this particular watch was only $29.95 back in 1969, which translates to approximately $238 or so in today's money, which is still a great bang for the buck. If you want to know what Caravelle is, Caravelle is a budget brand of Bulova. Um, I did a video on it on my last episode. Go ahead and watch that to find out more about Caravelle and what they stood about back in the day and then uh, go back to this video. So let's go ahead and talk about the Caravelle Sea Hunter. So here is my Caravelle Sea Hunter right here. And of course I have it in a glass of water. It's rated to 666. It featured a screw down case back, a timing bezel, and look at those markers, 12369. It's almost reminiscent of the Tudor Ranger watch nowadays, um, but very basic, but very utilitarian in design. On the dial, it does have water resistant for this one. Originally, when it first came out, the first models in 1969 said waterproof and then in 1970 they had to change it to water resistant because technically no watch is waterproof so let's go ahead and take a deep dive on the watchmaker's bench and see more about this watch all right guys so here is the caravel sea hunter 666 so you can see the inscription right there, 666 feet, which nicknamed this the Devil Diver. There were several Devil Diver in Caravelle's lineup, but this is the one that is most known and most prominent amongst all of them. So as you can see, it features a 12369 tritium filled markers and hands and has a lollipop seconds hand. The one that had the waterproof designation that was made in 1969 had a different set of hands which is interesting so that's also something to note. And then also it features a timing bezel as you can see here which is a friction fitting bezel so it doesn't click but this one it is fairly tight so it can't really be knocked. Now, in here is the crown. Now, contrary to what people say, having the watch being water resistant has to have a screw down crown, but that is not the case. But I did rebuild the crown. In order for this thing to go 666 feet, it does have two um, O-rings in there instead of one, which provides um, a seal against the tubing on the watch and it also has an acrylic crystal as you can see here now this watch I typically use when I work on the car or when I'm working outside I mean it is basically a tool watch it's very useful very simple hand wound movement here the lugs are 20 millimeters and the diameter is 37 millimeters so it's just the right fit for my wrist I mean I have small wrists so it fits perfectly the lugs right here kind of um, curve downward and they're 
a bit thin right here. They, they taper off, as you can see. And this acrylic crystal is raised, so it does get hit a lot, but a simple application of poly watch and uh, you know, it would just uh, remove all the scratches. Now this particular crystal I, get, I did get from Watch Supply House. Um, his Instagram handler is Chrono Nick, so he does have vintage Caravel Boulevard parts. So if you are looking for anything, feel free to uh, reach out to him and uh, see if he has any parts available. So here's the screw down case back. It says Caravel, um, anti magnetic, stainless steel, and then here's the designation of being water. Um, water resistant to 666 feet and then it's also shock resistant too so NO right there is the date code so Bolova Caravel has a date code that they go by the alpha um, numeric letter designates the the era and then the number on the side represents what year um, so, for example, if it's this one's NO, so it's 1970. If it was N1, it'd be 1971. So, a little bit of uh, trivia there for you. So, this is on this vintage Tropic strap, which fits very comfortably, like the original. Although the original um, Tropic strap does fit between the lugs here, but this one. Uh, you know doesn't fill the lugs, but it fits just right. So It wears really nice So we are going to take off the case back Okay, so with the case back removed we have the Caravel 17 Jewel 11 DP movement This movement is also known as the citizen 0241 movement. This movement is found in a range of Caravels and it may have 7 or 17 jewels depending on the model. Any Sea Hunter usually has the 17 jewel variation of it. It has a 42 hour power reserve, it's hand wound, and it beats at 18,800 vibrations per hour, which isn't fast, but it does still allow for accuracy as well as longer service intervals since there's less wear and tear on the parts. Now as you can see here, there's this rubber o-ring and this seals the case back to the case. Now if you remember, the case back is screw down, so that's the only screw down component in here. This crown is not a screw down. So the first model of the Sea Hunter that came out in 1969 had a different reference number. This reference number though in 1970 and up is 2876-DP. The one launched in 1969 had a three digit reference number. So it's easily serviceable, there's less parts with it and any competent watchmaker should be able to service it for a reasonable price since it's not very complicated. So what do I think about this watch in 2023? Well, I think it's a great watch. For a 53 year old watch, it keeps great time. It is a highly legible watch, viewable in any situations. It has a timing bezel in case you ever want to time anything. And it's just lightweight. You just have to wind it every day. But you know, I actually enjoy winding it every day because then you could connect to the watch and you could just look at it pay more attention to it and appreciate it more so that is my take on the Caravel Sea Hunter 666 well I hope you enjoyed my video review on my Caravel Sea Hunter 666 if you guys have any feedback questions comments please go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. You could always message me on my Instagram, Watches with Oliver. I do enjoy socializing and I enjoy any watch brand, so you are more than welcome to message me if you have any questions. Remember to also like, comment, share, and subscribe to my videos. It does help me and I do appreciate all the support.
Again, thanks for watching my Caravel Sea Hunter 666 review, and we'll see you in the next episode.